I am Wolfgang Wilcox, your friend from the UK, and welcome to Choo Choo Charles. The next game as chosen by my Twitter followers. I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but something has happened at the mines I've been supervising. No, trust me. You'll want to make time for this. You're looking for something big to keep your museum in business. Well, there's something big on that island. Real big. So many friends. And even my own son are still out there. If anyone can bring this thing down, it's you. It'll be the biggest attraction your city's ever seen. And you can help an old friend. Yes, meet me on the docks at sunset. I hope you're ready for a little monster hunt. I see. Game auto saves as you play. Pick up where you left off. Every time. Charles. Half train, half giga spider from hell. We've been planning his demise for some time now and have nearly everything in order. Just a few people to meet and places to see. Symbol Aaron, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to Erinirum, the island where miners dig their own graves. Stay close. Charles isn't the only thing to fear around here. There's a train shed at the top of the hill. One of the train operators was killed early on by the beast, so his old engine should be in there. If we can get to it, it could be an indispensable tool on our journey. Nice ventriloquism out there, Eugene. We don't want to be exposed for too long. Fucking hell, look at him go! There's a small shack up the path that might have a key inside. Take this map, I just marked the location on it. See if the key is up there, and I'll look around some more down here.
<laughs> Good on you! Looks like you found it. Open up that door and lead the way. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. She's an oldie but a goodie. I'm going to inspect the crane's exterior. Why don't you take a peek inside, see what we got to work with? Your epic train. Quickly navigate the island, a weapon shield against your foes, a respawn point if things go wrong. And trap bombs around the camp to learn how to use. Grading. The exterior is a little rough, but everything looks to be intact. That one you were looking at wasn't on here when I was evacuated from the island, but it sure looks fun to use. <laughs> we can light up Charles with it and take him down before he even sees us coming. Are you ready to take this thing for a spin? Center lever moves the train forward, left lever backwards. The right lever stops the train, leaving the train while moving automatically stops. Yeah, baby! We're coming for you, Charles! Do you hear that? It's him! It's him!
in there. Right. Eugene told us we'd have a newcomer soon. I suppose that would be you. There's some scrap metal in the balcony room of my house that you could use to repair and upgrade your train. Here's the key. And although the balcony is right behind me, I'll just mark it on your map anyway. As a side note, talk to anyone around here, and uh, they'll do whatever they can to help. Anyone not wearing a mask, that is. Check out the balcony, and take whatever you can use. Good luck with everything. Thank you. We've been waiting as patiently as we can, but the past few days have been chaotic to say the least. Charles has been more aggressive lately, to the point where I'm starting to fear how many of us will be left by the time help arrives. Godspeed, Eugene, we're counting on you. Hello? Oh dear. I have some resources, you can go back to your train, make some upgrades, and interact with the blueprints to open the upgrade menu. Cool.
darling. Okay. I'm making a fresh stew with ingredients for my very own swamp. But I don't have any meat at the moment. I smell a carcass on the island in the swamp, and if you wait over there and bring it back for me, I'll pay you some scraps. Right. Although, you'll need to be wary of Barry, the swamp monster. Keep an eye out for him splashing around, and don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still, he's as kind as a kitten. Central to swamp while avoiding potential friends. Tasty yummy stew recipe. Swamp water, salt, clover, dirt, swamp. Meat, any kind, human included, haha, -ha, and salt. Sounds like diarrhea stew if you ask me. Dead fish, perfect for a tasty stew.
Look, kid, I know you're supposed to be some fancy-pants monster hunter, but you can't earn my respect without making yourself useful. Okay. One of Warren's goons dumped a locked chest in the yard last night. After beating on it for a few hours, I didn't break anything but a sweat. I got some lock picks, but I don't know how to use them. Here, take them. If you can get that chest open, you'll earn my respect. I might just give you some scraps to help improve your train. Okay, fine. You could be less of a dick about it, but okay. Okay then. Oof. <laughs> well, fancy fingers here got the chest unlocked. <laughs> uh, that's an odd-looking piece of junk you found inside there. A letdown, to be frank. To earn my respect, so here's some scraps, like I promised. Damn, that's a hell of a lot of scrap he gave me. So the witch, now I think about it. So, mi so missions are definitely the way to go here.
Oh shit. The monster hunter has arrived, I see. This is no ordinary hunt, mind you. We've already tried fighting Charles, but he retreats into the wilderness if he is sufficiently harmed. We believe there may be a way to get Charles to commit to a mortal battle, however. Dispersed around the island are three eggs, locked in the island's three primary mines. Our theory is that putting these eggs in the temple at the center of the island will provoke Charles into a fight to the death. Unfortunately, the mining company owner, Warren Charles III, has placed armed guards inside each mine to protect the eggs. There's an egg in the mine just down the rail. Here's the key to the mine. I've marked the entrance on your map. That's nice and all, but it sounds like he's right fucking here. Shit, there he is. Are you taking out before the fucking train dies? Shit! God fucking damn it.
flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see, that is slightly uh, backfired. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I cooked myself alive in that shed as I was testing it. Shoot, dang. Shoot, sure, dang. I would love to save the shed, though. If a uh, flamethrower somehow still works after the fire dies down, well, you can take it. I'd assume you're the monster hunter that folks have been expecting, so uh, a weapon like this could come in handy. Sure thing. This conveniently placed water valve, could it? Who thought, huh? Using the water tank to put out the fire. Pure genius. Here, take old bug spray. Cause of this chaos. I don't want to see it anywhere near here again. Shoot, dang. Always paying that at your train. Use it when you're trying to customize its color. Huh, okay. Mining has been proceeding smoothly and we're seeing signs of a solid vein already. The tools are still holding up well and we've finished construction in our shelter. We haven't spent long here but we're getting settled in, adopting a good ribbon and schedule to our work. Hmm.
village and letter to Mr. Warren. While mining the farmer's tunnel, we broke for a wall into a large cavern. There's something strange here, and we don't know what it is. We're requesting that Mr. Warren visit the southern mines on his earliest convenience to give us further instruction. Eugene, the team supervisor. Ah, okay.
Is this up in the direction where I want it to go? Before the cave-in, I pushed a spare rail car into the canyon using my beautiful old mining train. I figured a rail car would be a fine place to hide my more important belongings, specifically on a rural and unfinished track. I went to get something out of my rail car in the canyon about a week ago, but some of Warren's men have built a campsite or base of some sort there. I don't know how I'll get to my box safely, and I don't know how long I'll last without it. Ooh. Welcome to Araniram, archivist museum person. Oh. Thank you, Theodore. My apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. Mm, yes. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity, if you're interested. Oh, do you now? A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in the nearby canyon. But the goons have set up a camp to protect that area. So be careful. So more fuckers with guns then. Great. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scraps as payment. Okay then. Shit. 
the box there it is. Fuck off out my way, you prick. Crap. Fuck you, I kept the box. <laughs> That's the exact box I needed. Now take these scraps and skedaddle. Yes, yeah, skedaddle. Okay, and that's going to do for this episode of Choo Choo Charles. Thank you so much for watching, and good night out there, whatever you are. <laughs>